Uh, right, tubers. Just a little update on what I'm doing. Um, yeah, just thought I'd start working on this again. Done a little bit on it. Uh, the horns, trophy racks, black spines, black horns, loincloth, some metal bits on the side of the thighs there. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, just going to be working on more of the flesh tone. I've just got like um, the left side of the chest to do on here and, and the back. And that's the skin tone done. And uh, basically I've got to put shading in and also put in lots of uh, highlights here and there, what have you. Basically crossing all the T's and dotting all the I's. And uh, not sure if I showed you this one. I've done this one a while ago. So it's um, a blood letter that Jason Pryor gave me. And uh, I painted this guy, and I really enjoyed it. Oh, they're hiring the brilliant little miniatures, the blood letters. So I think I might be, uh, I might buy a little battalion of those. And I got a n nice resin base there from Ski Ball. Oops, sorry if you can see it. There you go. It's very basic. A bit of headstone, a bit of greenery, just simple dry brush. You know, lovely little kit, little base rather. Sorry. I got my demonettes. I'm painting in a pale blue. And I'll be highlighting that all up so they've got a very pale blue flesh tone. Just got bored painting purple, so I just thought, and ah, my models, my army, I'll paint them whatever colour I want, and I'm sure they'll look okay. Done some work on a juggernaut, which is this one here. Just got all the shading done on that, and I just got to put some more highlights on the top to represent the uh, brightness of the red. Um, and then once it's just all the little detail bits then. So I'm quite happy with the old uh, shadowing here. And I'm also doing a conversion. I'm not going to show you because it's all in bits at the moment. I'll uh, get round to it more of the time. The only thing is, this one's missing the hoof. Which I'm pretty gutted about actually. So I was just thinking maybe if I put it on a seam base, I'll have the foot hiding in some foliage or something. Um... Finally finished that. I tweaked all of this now, so he's all done. I'm really happy with that. The old war boss. He's up for sale. If anybody wants to buy him or swap, whichever way. Yeah. It's, oh yeah. Skull Crusher. There you go. Got the back of the Skull Crusher done. Just got a highlight here and there on the spines and the skulls. And the hooks, and then on the front here, I've done some of the. Uh, I'm not sure if you can really see it because of the lighting, as always, in my house is shit. Done some flesh work on there, and then uh, on the arm band, uh, shin plate, and thigh plate, I've done non metallic coppers, and I'm really happy with it how it's turned out, especially the, this bit on the arm. Not sure if you could see it. Like I said, I need to get myself a new camera. But yeah, there you go. Look, pretty tidy. Pretty tidy. Um, that's pretty much it, to be honest with you. I mean, oh yeah, not forgetting. Update on Engron. I've done a base coat on Engron. There we go. So that's kind of coming together quite well. Definitely be airbrushing the skin tones on this one rather than, it's just so big, you know, and it's, don't get me wrong, it's a lovely model, but the conversion I've done, I'm really happy with it, it's just, just oodles of fun to do. And the bit I like the most is where I've done the green stuff on the back, and he's got all these spines ripping through his cloak, you know, and it's, oh, I, I really love it. You know, I recommend you guys trying conversions. It's so much fun, and you don't know what's gonna, how it's gonna turn out, or how it is gonna turn out. And you know, I'm just put his axe on. I've got his axe detachable, so it's easier for me to paint. But yeah, with that axe, slicing through marines, fucking awesome, man. Kill the blood angels, the heretics. Oh yeah. 
and um, nothing on the side gore front at the moment. Uh, there's like a, a mini swap going on at the moment where someone paints a miniature for you and you paint one of theirs and I've um, uploaded this for someone to do that for me. So, because, um, uh, I don't know, I might revoke it and just paint it myself. We'll see. Just need to be in the mood, I guess. What the hell is that? All oh, right, okay, it's a size. Yeah, so if you've got any uh, questions, comments, anything like that, drop us a line. Or if you need any hints or tips on painting and how I uh, wet blend and shade and glaze, etc., drop me a line and uh, I'll try and explain it. And uh, if you want a video done, just uh, just tell me. I won't do it if, unless you tell me. So if you tell me, then I can do it. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. And I'm going to just end the video here and uh, get it uploaded. Well, see you in the next one, fellas and ladies. Bye for now.